Hi everyone, Alec from Entopology. Today we have a pretty cool Entop Live where we're going to take dimpled surfaces, spread them across the surface, and use them to manipulate our boundary layer and airflow in an intake manifold. Let's take a look. So, on the left side of my screen, you'll see this golf ball, and I brought up this image from techscience.com because it's a nice depiction of what we're going to be manipulating in Entop. So when we have a golf ball, we have these nice dimples across the top surface, which we see on the top half. And we won't deep dive into this too much, but essentially what these are going to be doing are be creating small little eddies or turbulent airflow across the top of this surface. And what this is going to result in is keeping the airflow separation point adhered to the surface a little longer, which is going to reduce our wake um, or the turbulent airflow downstream from the golf ball as it moves through the air. Now these same principles of adding a texture to a surface are something that we can manipulate in entomology. And on the right hand side of my screen, we have this intake plenum from IPD plenums. And this is a casted part that they create. And this is for an air intake for an automotive sports car. Now you'll notice that we have these kind of rough dimples across the top. And we also can follow my mouse to the bottom right where we have dimples on the bottom. And obviously this is probably casted, but now a lot of these automotive companies are moving towards doing additively manufactured parts like this. It would be really difficult to weld. And we can use some pretty cool metals like Inconel and titanium. And when we open up end topology, we can actually see that this dimpling is having the same effect as we saw in the golf ball, where around a tight cavity like this intake plenum, and I just grabbed this intake point I'm off of GrabCAD. Um, when we wrap around this tight corner radius like this, we're actually able to adhere the flow a little bit better, and we're able to increase the flow through an area much faster. Now, I put together this workflow. I think it's a, a pretty fun one to play around with, and I'd like you guys to open it and just give it a shot. But some key features that I've made, right? We can change the sphere count very fast. So I have about 1600 random points on a surface here. You can walk through my actual workflow to see how I got this. Um, but I just wanted to keep this quick because it was a cool application. It's something we can easily do. And I also made some nice keep out features that you'll see in blue here where I'm actually taking the dimpling and I'm just saying, hey, when we get close to these CAD edges, I want to stay away from them. And then when we get to these larger open areas, I would like to continue to dimple across it and make a really high performance intake plenum. So if you open this part and let me know your thoughts, I'm curious to see what other applications might be out there for these simple dimpling patterns. And don't forget that if you go to our Architected Materials tab in the ribbon, we actually have some cool texturing built right into the software. So essentially, you know, these are things like surface roughness, and they also get down to a very similar workflow like this sphere grid deboss, where we just need a CAD face, and we also need a body that's an implicit format to make a part, and we can, you know, set up our 10 by 10 matrix or whatever we'd like for dimpling and get very similar results. So uh, open this part, give it a go. Let me know what you think. Definitely change the radiuses in the sphere count. And uh, yeah, see how fast that these things build. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.